Total Pro Sports presents the 15 teams that have the most bandwagon fans. It's annoying to be a sports fan, we know. There is nothing worse than dealing with bandwagon sports fans. While the typical fan supports their favorite teams throughout their lifetimes, there's always that one person that's hopping a different team's bandwagon every few years. There are many teams that have more bandwagon fans than others, so let's dig into the 15 teams that have the most bandwagon fans. Number 15, Cleveland Cavaliers. It's easy. Have LeBron James and people will love you. Except people have been on the Cavaliers' bandwagon twice now. No one seemed to care about Cleveland when LeBron left them, when he took his talents to South Beach to join the Miami Heat. Once he came home in 2014, everyone was a Cavaliers fan again. That won't be the case whenever he leaves the team. Number 14. Manchester United By far the most watched and loyal team in soccer has a phenomenally loyal fan base in Europe, but bandwagon fans have followed from all over the world. Just watch it when Man U comes to play the MLS All-Stars. Every year the crowd is filled with a sea of red. It wouldn't be that way if Man U wasn't always so darn dominant for the past two decades. Number 13. Boston Red Sox Many haters of the New York Yankees will be able to relate. If you hated the Yankees, chances are you love the Red Sox. However, Boston's baseball team has always bought superstars away from others, which helped them win three titles in 2004. Their fans tend to be very loyal and loudmouth. But don't forget that sellout streak that ended in 2012, which was no coincidence when they finished last in the AL East. The Red Sox have fans all over America, and that's because buying talent buys championships, which buys the fans love. Number 12. Vancouver Canucks The Canucks' infamous run to the Stanley Cup Final in 2011 is probably best remembered for an unnecessary riot that followed after the game. For years, the Canucks were a top team in the standings. Ticket prices were ridiculous and they sold out every home game. Over the last few seasons as the team declined, so did fanship. Tickets have neared an all-time low, and you don't notice fans traveling to Arizona or California to support their Canucks as often as before. That's because so many fans left once the team fell out of the NHL's elite. Number 11. Duke Blue Devils NCAA Basketball Like other teams on this list, the more you win, the far more amount of bandwagon fans you'll attract. Duke basketball has won five NCAA championships under Coach K and consistently made it to the Final Four. So yeah, with that much success, why wouldn't so many fans bandwagon jump them? It just keeps happening. Number 10. Green Bay Packers The most storied and successful franchise in the history of the NFL could have the most diehard fans in Green Bay. Across the country, it's a whole new story. The cheeseheads can be seen invading any stadium in the NFL that the Packers are visiting. That's because with so much success over the years, the Packers have brought home a bunch of Packers fans to support them anywhere they go. Just don't forget to remember the difference between the loyal at Lambeau and the bandwagon ones all over America. Number 9. Detroit Red Wings For years and years and years, NHL fans of any of the other 29 teams have had their arenas invaded by Red Wings fans. Why is that? Part of it is loyalty, but much of it is bandwagon fans who grew up cheering for the Red Wings after two cups in the 90s and two titles in the 2000s. They can say what they want, but it's been easy for many Red Wings fans to jump on the bandwagon when they've been hockey's most successful team for over 20 years. Number 8. Los Angeles Lakers – The Kobe Bryant Effect Bryant has been the NBA's most polarizing superstar since Michael Jordan hung up his shoes for life. Bryant's brought five NBA titles to the Los Angeles Lakers, and given how successful the Lakers were for over a decade with Kobe, it was easy for the casual basketball fan to become a Lakers fan. With the Lakes in turmoil, it'll be interesting to see how many fans stick around until they become a contender again. Number 7. Dallas Cowboys They were given the nickname America's Team for a reason, because America loves the Dallas Cowboys. Like the Packers, the Cowboys have had so much success, stemmed from their three Super Bowls during the 1990s. That doesn't mean all of their fans have been loyal. The nickname America's Team has been so intriguing, and it helped bring plenty of bandwagon fans. Number 6. Washington Capitals It may be hard for folks to remember the Washington Capitals fan base prior to the 2005 lockout, and that's no surprise. They played in a silent arena with very few fans until they drafted Alexander Ovechkin and became a consistent playoff team beginning in 2008. The Caps sell out every home game now, but it wasn't like that at all until they were a good team. Number 5. The Pittsburgh Penguins Four words, Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin. After the lockout, these two men completely turned around and saved the Pittsburgh Penguins from leaving the Steel City. That's right, the Penguins were set to move to Las Vegas until former Penn great Mario Lemieux came in and bought the franchise. It's been a sellout every night ever since the Pens became a consistent playoff team. They went from Destin to relocate to filling up every seat in their arena. How else can you define a bandwagon fan? Number 4. Miami Heat 
The Heat drew arguably the fastest growing bandwagon fan base in 2010, when LeBron and Chris Bosh joined Dwayne Wade to take their talents to South Beach. Two championships in four years helped attract a ridiculously large following from across America, even though their fan base was limited to folks in Florida prior to 2010. Perhaps it's safe to assume any fans have left the Heat bandwagon since James left Miami in 2014, but for four years the team had many bandwagon fans. Number 3. The New York Yankees Everyone in America who watches baseball either loves or hates the Yankees. Most people hate them, but others love them. Watch any away game, and it's filled with either the home team's fans or Yankees fans. Even the folks of New York aren't that loyal to their team anymore, as there's been more empty seats than ever before at New Yankee Stadium. Buying star players has led to buying fans for over 20 years in the Bronx section of New York. Number 2. Chicago Blackhawks it was absolutely no coincidence that the Blackhawks went from 29th in the NHL attendance in 2007 to selling out and having the most fans per game two years later. That's because the Hawks were often forgotten as an NHL franchise for years. Once they became a dynasty that won three Stanley Cups, everyone in Illinois became a huge Blackhawks fan. Tickets are hard to come by. During the bad years, players actually had to go out in public and hand out free tickets. Every single away game is loaded with Blackhawks fans who were definitely not there before 2009. If many of the Blackhawks fans weren't showing up until 2009, then why should we believe the others across the continent have always been loyal? And number 1. New England Patriots Much like the Blackhawks, who was a Patriots fan before Tom Brady took over in 2001? Not a whole lot outside of New England itself. Suddenly everyone in America is a huge Tom Brady fan, and they've been die-hard Patriots fans their entire lives. The truth is, owner Robert Kraft was able to save this struggling team from relocating. The Patriots fan base likes to talk as if they've always been loyal, but with four Super Bowls since the new millennium and being a contender every year, so many fans board the Patriots bandwagon train. It'll be interesting to see how this fan base is once Brady and Bill Belichick leave. And that's it for the 15 teams that have the most bandwagon fans. But wait, we are not done with you yet. In the comments below, we want to know, out of all the teams listed here, which one has the fans that you hate the most? And for more cool videos, click subscribe.